Yo, what is up guys? Stale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. What an incredible fight I just witnessed. Jerwin Ankerhas defeats Jonathan Javier Rodriguez by a unanimous decision to retain his super flyweight IBF title. An incredible fight between these two gentlemen. Both guys, man, deserve a round of applause. What an incredible fight. In my opinion, this was a fight of the year contender. Back and forth, crazy exchanges, crazy combinations. There was a knockdown as well. Just an incredible fight between these two guys. You know, Mexico versus Philippines usually always delivers. And it does once again. Credit to both guys, man. Um, first sort of four or five rounds in this fight, I felt Jerwin Ankerhas was boxing well when he was keeping it from range. Um... He was effectively landing that straight left hand uh, to body and head, uh, also displaying a nice jab out of that southpaw stance. But, you know, there were times when uh, he would allow Rodriguez to get close and they were exchanging. When they was exchanging, I felt Rodriguez was having a lot of success. He was landing some nice hooks to body and head and making it, you know, a, a very competitive first five rounds. But, you know, in the first five rounds... I felt Ankerhas was in control for the most part. Round six, you know, Ankerhas didn't control the distance as well, and both guys were involved in a phone box war. Both guys head to head, trading body shots, trading uh, hooks to the head, just back and forth action in round six. Great round. I felt Rodriguez won round six personally, and um, yeah, what a round round six was, man. Incredible stuff, man. Combinations. Headshots, body shots, rock and, rock and sock and robots type of action. And round six basically signalled how the rest of this fight would go, just a war. I felt the first five rounds were more of a boxing match, which favoured Ankahas. And the second half of this fight, Ankahas kind of played into Rodriguez's hands. But round seven, more of the same. I felt Ankahas regained control, but a lot of exchanges, a lot of hard punches exchanged by either guy. Um... Very good round. Round 8, <clears throat> Jerwin Ankahas starts to really apply the pressure. He was landing hurtful left hands to body and head. He actually dropped Rodriguez in round 8. He started a combination to the body, forced Rodriguez back, and then, and then landed several hard left hands, which basically dropped Rodriguez. And, you know, Rodriguez beat the count and he got through the round. Round 9, Ankahas jumped right back on Rodriguez. And he actually hurt Rodriguez to the body in round 9 on several occasions. And I have to say, I felt the fight was going to get ended in round 9. Because I heard Rodriguez, like, visibly... So not visibly, that makes no sense. I heard him audibly gasp when he was getting caught to the body in pain. So I thought he was going to get stopped in round 9. But, um... He got through round 9, and not only did he get through round 9, but he had a great round 10, a great round 11, and a great round 12. You know, round 10, he came forward, supplying pressure, throwing a crazy amount of punches. He won round 10. He won round 11, in my opinion, as well. Again, more of the same, just coming forwards, applying pressure. You know, he really wanted that title, Rodriguez. And he finished this fight extremely strongly. Both guys traded in round 12, having success. Just an incredible fight, man. Incredible, incredible fight. And, um, yeah, they finished this fight in round 12, just exchanging, throwing combinations, going hell for leather, and they saw the distance. Incredible fight, man. I never saw Jonathan Rodriguez fight uh, before this fight. I saw a few highlights, but that was really it. And uh, after this fight, I want to see Jonathan Rodriguez again. That guy is certainly a contender at super flyweight. But at the end of the day, it was um, Jerwin Ankerhas who won the fight by a unanimous decision. And rightly so. He, de he definitely won this fight. And I was very entertained. I I I've got to tell you the truth. Recently, I've been a bit lukewarm on Jerwin Ankerhas due to really his level of competition, his inactivity. But listen, this fight got me right back on board. Tremendous fight. Both guys deserve a lot of credit. And like I said... I see this as a fight of the year contender. I, I really do. Tremendous fight. Tremendous fight. Hopefully now, Jerwin Ankerhas can try and unify at super flyweight. I'd love to see Jerwin Ankerhas versus Kazuta Ioka. That would, that, that would be a great fight. Maybe even a fight with um, Donny Nietes 
who's also from the Philippines. That'll be a great fight as well. These are the sort of fights I want to see Jerwin and Cajas in with next. But yeah, credit to both guys. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Share your thoughts below. What did you make of this fight? Beanie Guy, Del Boy. Peace.